So Kirk gets in the shuttle with McCoy and they go up here to what I think is Starbase One. So Starbase One in the regular timeline is out by Jupiter. But mm-hmm. they instead here, they in the Kelvin timeline, they leave the surface of the Earth and they're right away here in this Starbase. Yeah. Jim, you gotta look at this. Jim. <laughs> Super cool. Cool, cool. Mm. Mm. Flagship. Uh, I want to so I cool. Why. Kind of weird. Oh, a little, little close to the door there. Yeah, right. Interesting hangar bay. Although, mm-hmm. and, and a bunch of um, shuttles, like in the future Star Treks, they only have like one or two shuttles. Interesting. I wonder why. Right. I guess the transporter just gets used more and more. So the shuttle requirements get less and less. I see. I buy that. I buy that completely. Mm-hmm. So what do I want to say? Yeah, here, here's Starbase. So this is Starbase 1. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And so just interesting shape. So like why spherical with this ring and then spokes with disks? Why that shape? Yes. So the sphere means they're thinking in 3D when they're designing it. But yeah, yeah. then they sort of have a 2D docking Wait, situation. Wh- wh- why, why, why would you want a sphere? Like, what what is the advantageous thing about having a sphere in, instead of like a cube or a cone or whatever? So for the given amount of volume that maximizes your... Sorry, it maximizes surface area to volume? I see. Or minimizes, ah, minimizes. So you're, you're saying you get the largest volume with the least amount of materials. Right. I see. And since you're in space, go with the sphere. Although I think square would be best. Yeah, I think so. Cube. Just cube, right? Cube, cube. Because it's just easier to build in cubes. With spheres, right. you've got these like... Curves. A- curvy end pieces. Right. That are like, if you're in this section, it's got to be this kind of curve. If it's in this mm-hmm. section... You gotta be I see. this kind of curve, and so annoying. if if there was a cube, you could do like twenty five meter by twenty five meter just squares, and just copy paste, copy paste, copy paste all the way around the cube. Right. So it'd be but much easier to thing, do modularity. Exactly. Uh, with this thing, you have these like wide flat panels, and then over here you have like narrow slivers. Yeah. That means you can't mass produce it. You, I mean, you can mass produce it in this ring, but then the mm-hmm. next ring is different, and the next ring is different. Yeah, so cube, it's weird. Cube, cube, cube. It, it's weird. It's weird. Okay, so they have the sphere, and they sort of layer within the sphere. It looks okay. like. I think what they yeah. should have done is concentric spheres, because then that takes it. So inside the sphere is first sphere, and that's the floor. Oh. And then second sphere, that's the floor. So you got. So like shells. Shells, yeah. Like like the Russian dolls, like like shell inside a shell inside a shell. Mm-hmm. Okay. That's still more annoying than. Cube. A, a cube cubes because floors. cubes are easily modular whereas these concentric spheres each sphere is a different size how annoying is that and then if you do sphere with with levels the levels are different sizes with different end pieces that's annoying and if you don't have nice rectangular rooms and people's furnitures there's always gonna be like a little dead corner like i can't put anything there <laughs> like it's, it's a little curved uh, corner in my room what do i do with this but I like these these spokes here, or this outer yeah. ring, and then spokes to these disks, yeah. because I, I guess you can put ships out here. To me, it would make more sense for the the end pieces of the spokes to be spheres, because then you could dock ships at all all angles. I see. But yeah, for so, as it stands so right this, now, you, you can't come up. Yeah. Was if, if this disk was instead a sphere? Yeah. You could put a, we could have put a ship there and there and there and, and there. there. Yeah. As opposed to these discs as they are, you can get three on that Frisbee and that's it. That's it, yeah. Mm. I don't understand the design. Mm. Donut. How about a donut? A donut shape for your space station? I guess I, I, I'm okay with donut. I'm okay with 2D flat. The weird thing is sphere and then quick transition to 2D flat donut. Hmm. So it's essentially a 2D station with a 3D centerpiece. I right. see what you're saying. Why not all 3D or all 2D? Right. Weird mix. 
In fact, if you're going to make it a, have these docking stations, wouldn't it make sense to have just a ball and then the, the docking stations are all on the outside? Yes. I mean, I gosh, okay, okay. Every shape <laughs> seems to make sense in some way, but there's pros and cons. Right. So, so I let's let's okay, let's look at the so okay. First of all, I was I was confused because mm -hmm. I I always thought Starbase One is out by Jupiter, mm -hmm. but I guess in the Kelvin timeline, Starbase One is here right above Earth. So I looked this up. I so I wasn't even even sure. So I looked it up, and and Terraformer here says that yeah. oh, Terraform. Oh, that's cool. Oh, oh. A little bit, a little bit of clicking. Okay, here we go. Starbase One is seen in Discovery and Strange New Worlds. Strange New Worlds added the biodomes. It doesn't have share the designs with the Kelvin movies. Oh wait, wait, that's a bad reading. It also doesn't share the design with the Kelvin movies. Space Dock mm -hmm. One is from the original series, and you can see it being built in Discovery. Oh, that's really nice. That's, really that's nice cool. Tie in the Soul Station is the successor to Space Dock and the one that can be seen in Picard. So let's let's look at these. So here's Starbase One from the what is it we said starbase one was in discovery and strange new worlds okay so they have these discs yeah but also looks like some type of glass or some type of transparent dome thing so this is like an mm -hmm. open atmosphere i bet that's really nice for when a ship docks then you like it feels like you're in a, you're not in a little tube little box right um i like this vertical structure I like the vertical structure because you could put a turbo lift, zoop, all the way to the top, uh, all the way to the bottom. Yeah. The annoying thing about a sphere is there's no clear axis. That's like a turbo lift should go there. It's like the turbo lifts go just diagonal mm -hmm. through the whole thing. Like, so this seems to be a similar design to the one in Star Trek 2009, but has an improvement in that it made it a that. cylindrically symmetric situation for turbo lift mm -hmm. Uh, mm -hmm. access. I like so that. fast fast transport as opposed to like walking around the thing and then this is space dock one so this is i think this is above earth mm -hmm. but it's not a star base it's space dock. see and oh it, the cool dock docking thing is it's uh the rings and the, sit, the ships sit inside the rings that's cool that's pretty cool why is that okay. why would that be a good thing I guess if you're doing maintenance or whatever, you can come uh, in at all exactly. angles and you can store stuff in the ring. If you didn't have the ring, like you're, you're just exposed to space and you like drift away forever. Mm. Mm -hmm. It's sure. also got a cylindrical, cylindrically symmetric design, which I think I like. So you get that turbo lift in the middle and mm -hmm. then you could walk on a approximately flat. I guess they do have turbo lifts that go side to side. So maybe there's spoky turbo lifts that okay. come out from the center on, on Mm -hmm. on the top I buy there. it I buy it okay and then this is soul station so this is I oh, sorry so state space what oh I see they're not necessarily different it's different universes and different timelines oh, I'm confused then. or or maybe hear it space dock one is mm -hmm. from the late 23rd century to the 25th century yeah and then soul station uh, is 25th century so I think okay. this ah, it resembles the predecessor in design, but features several additional structures. So this is in TNG in the last generation. So this is the mm -hmm. replacement for Space Dock One. Oh, I see it. It's like mm -hmm. yeah, I'm bouncing around. I see it. It's like that's roughly cylinder design, but also there's different radii and you get a, these discs mm -hmm. out on the side. So it seems like they converge to cylindrically symmetric is more convenient. Making a ball within docking rings are on the outside so it's it's kind of annoying interesting i like it i like it too and i like the evolution of the design it kind of makes some sense hmm. 